Welcome to the product demo for how to configure the Big IP Web Accelerator. In today's demo, we will be covering the configuration of the Web Accelerator module for version 9.4.3. This lesson requires a basic understanding of how to configure virtual servers and pools. The first thing we want to do before setting up the virtual server is create the Web Accelerator class. This will be assigned to any virtual server that we want to be passed to the Web Accelerator. We just specify a name for this class, leave all the defaults as they are. We see that the Web Accelerator is enabled and click finished. Now that this is created, we can go in and start the configuration of our virtual servers. We need to create two virtual servers for the lesson today. We need to create one virtual server for the origin and one virtual server that will show the accelerated application. Within the configuration, you would specify any of the standard profiles that you want for your origin server. In this case, we need to turn on a snap for the environment that we are testing in, and we are going to use the Sugar VM pool for accelerating a Sugar CRM application. We now want to create an additional virtual server for the accelerated version. I'm going to click repeat. So now I can create my new virtual server. Couple of differences for the accelerated virtual server. The HTTP profile will be changed to a custom HTTP acceleration profile. This is customized for use with the web accelerator. We also want to assign the HTTP class that was created previously. And that is all that is required for the configuration of the virtual. Next up is the configuration of the Web Accelerator. We'll start in the policies. Big IP Web Accelerator comes with a number of predefined acceleration policies for third-party software. In this case, we are accelerating a Sugar CRM application, which does not have a predefined policy, but there is the level one and level two delivery policies, which can be used for applications that do not have a predefined policy. I will copy this policy and I'm going to call this Sugar CRM. Once a policy has been copied, it has to be published in order to be assigned to an application. So clicking Publish and Publish Now will make this accessible for use in applications. Now we want to create the application, specify any name for the application, and we want to specify the policy that we just created, which is the Sugar CRM policy. The requested host is the host name that exists in the headers that will be seen by the application. In this case, it is accelerated.sugarcrm.com. Once we have the host entered, hit save, and this is now configured for accelerated.sugarcrm.com. We want to go into our host files, make sure that we have these set up properly. In this case, we set up the origin server as .240 and the accelerated server as .241. Make the changes to the host file and now we will bring up a 
new instance of the browser. I'm going to turn on HTTP Watch to look at the headers that are coming back for the application when I access both the origin and the accelerated instances. So we can click through the application, go to the login page. So we can just confirm that the virtual server is functioning for the origin application. Now we want to test the same thing for the accelerated version. Go to the same page. We get the login page here as well. We can confirm that the web accelerator is actually in use on this accelerated origin by looking at the headers that are returned. Whenever content is served from the web accelerator, there will be an XPB info header that is included in the received headers. So here is the accelerated version. If we go back up to the origin, that same piece of content, that XPV info is not present in this instance. That is all that is required to configure the Big IP Web Accelerator module.